Hello again. So if you didn't already know, Death Battle has returned after nearly a year after posting the Death Battle they made before this one because, you know, they're independent now after the whole Rooster Teeth situation that happened this year or the end of last year, I think. And their latest Death Battle is between Bardock and Omni-Man. Omni-Man from Invincible, and Bardock from Dragon Ball. Now, don't get me wrong. This fight was good for a first video back, especially with the probably more limited budget they have now, being independent and all, but the result slash winner of the battle was less than stellar, with also less than stellar reasoning. So, I'm here to debunk it, as usual. First of all, in regards to speed. They said Bardock was faster, which I was surprised by, considering the fact that I thought they were going to do this the other way around, which is where Bardock is stronger and more durable, and Omni-Man is faster, but here Bar Bardock should have actually won by their own logic. They say that Bardock is 475 trillion times the speed of light, while Omni-Man is only 20 billion times the speed of light. And after doing the maths, this would mean Bardock is quite literally 23,750 times faster than Omni Man. And in the top right corner, they say him, um, him you know, Omni Man scaling the universe would make him 34 trillion FTL. However, Bardock would still be faster. But to say that a character can ever hit another character that is going 23k, almost 24k times faster than them is just mind blowing to me. Now we get into the juicy stuff, which is where they scaled Omni-Man in regards to AP and durability. They start by mentioning the fact that Omni-Man destroyed Planet Viltrum, which they said would be comparable, if not better, than King Vegeta waving his hand and blowing up three planets at once. Since they say Planet Viltrum is bigger in scope than the planets destroyed by King Vegeta. The issue with this feat is they don't even mention the context behind it. Space Racer's gun was a major part of that feat because the gun was used to destabilize the planet's core first. Not to mention, even after it was destabilized, it was mentioned that Omni-Man had help from two other Viltrumites and that they had to reach the planet all at the same time and perfectly, otherwise they would have died on impact. Now for the part where they really highballed Omni-Man, which is where they brought up the solar disk feat, saying that the weapon used on the satellite wasn't enough to hurt Viltrumites, and that it could destroy a solar disk half the size of a star. In Death Battle, he calculated this feat to 8,641 quetatons of TNT, making it star level. There's issues with this feat as well. There has never been an implication that Viltrumites can tank hits from these lasers and move at billions of times the speed of light according to Death Battle. Space Racer's gun is so effective on Viltrumites since it can act it's actually fast enough to hit them. You can't prove that this weapon that can supposedly get to star levels of AP is fast enough to hit Omni-Man as well as other Viltrumites in general. So, that's why it's not a threat to them. They also state that the ship can tank its own beam and Conquest can destroy this ship, making it so they scale to it either way. Yet, this ship is firing a laser beam. Laser beams don't have mass or force in the way that physical mass does. There's no equal or opposite reaction getting pushed into the ship to claim that its durability is that high. In general, in many fictional medias, we also see that vehicles have weapons that can destroy and damage themselves. So, yeah. They also make another calc, which is very highly argued against very easily. And some people, after running the calculations for it, have only gotten this to, at max, multi-continental levels of attack potency. When they scaled Bardock to King Vegeta as well, I don't know why they just assumed that the planets he blew up are smaller than Earth, but even so, going to highball that feat, which is only fair since they highballed Omni-Man, 
This feat can be calped to large star level, and that's Bardock in base, never mind the Ozaru form or the Super Saiyan multipliers, which some people have been able to get to solar system level, if this was the case for eyeballing Bardock. So, yeah, Bardock destroys Omni-Man, no diff. 